Hey everybody, welcome back to Project Overflow. It's so good to see you again. And uh, if you were following us on our journey, thank you very much. All right, so uh, I'm Eugene and my partner in crime here is Zuan. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, Zuan, we are, um, you know, have been covering so many topics about money and, you know, different questions that people might have. And today we actually want to uh, talk about this uh, topic, which you know, we have not covered, which is so important. And thank you for bringing it up to my attention. So we won't be actually covering the question, any questions today, but or actually in the next uh, few episodes, but we actually want to cover uh, where our foundation comes from and where do we get uh, what we are telling you about and where does it all come from? All right, so the question uh, at hand is, what does the Bible say about money? Okay, so here we go. Zuan, what do you think? Uh, and what is, what is the perspective here that we are talking about? Why did we start this channel anyway to talk about personal finances? Here wow, wow! what does the Bible say about money? Actually, interestingly, the Bible actually mentioned about money a lot of times. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 600 over times. Compared to uh, prayer, you know, the typical uh, Christian thing like prayer, fasting, worship, which is about half of it, 300 over times. Um, um, don't quote me on this. Go and uh, do your own research and find. But I, I remember it vaguely. It's, it's 600 over times about money, possession, greed, wealth, right? Uh, that, that actually then it shows that God is really uh, truly concerned and also care about uh, how we manage money. Um, but for the sake of uh, today's uh, discussion, uh, we want to tackle this Bible verse, right? Which uh, a lot of uh, people, uh, Christian or non-Christian, would have heard of this because this is uh, what has been talked about out there so many times. Which is that, twisted. which kind? Yeah, twisted, twisted as well. Uh-huh. Twisted as well. Correct. Correct. You're right. And and uh, it actually comes from First Timothy, uh, six verse ten. It says that the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. So no matter from where you, you hear this from, it's actually from the Bible. And, and I also understand like what Eugene also mentioned, it's twisted many times. It says that, ah, it's not a love of money, like it's a greed and money's bad. You know, people use it for their own, uh, own personal uh, agenda, right? But, uh, but for t- today's discussion, we're going to talk about this. And also uh, we will try to break it down uh, and from what we understand and, and what our point of view uh, this is. Lah, okay. So yeah, that's First Timothy 6.10. Eugene, you want to add anything? Ah, uh, no. Yeah, I think uh, the twistedness comes from the part where you know people are saying that uh, money is the root of all evil. Actually, that is not true. Actually, what the verse actually says is that for the love of money. So it's the love of money, not money in itself, because money is actually a tool, right? So yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Just so okay. So this is uh, from also doing some reading as well uh, to come back to this verse. Is this? Uh, it's actually the heart. I mean, like really, is the love is actually our heart, our heart. Okay, and the money, which what Eugene said is yes, it's a tool, it's a resource, and, and I'm just quoting from uh, one of uh, John Piper's uh, daily devotion. He, he put this very beautifully in a very simple way. He said that he said that think of money, uh, money as a currency or as a symbol. Or human resources. So if That's we right. love, yeah, if we love money or we love wealth, and we uh, and everything we do every day is just to chase or go after that, right? It means that we actually put up, uh, we are putting our faith, our trust, and our assurance in money, and also in our ability to get or to create money. Instead, which is very contrary in 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 our Christian faith that. All like the source of it is definitely uh, God. He is the one who provides, and He is the one that takes care of us. And it also says in in um, Matthew, uh, Jesus actually says this in Matthew six twenty four that no one can serve two masters. Okay, so meaning if we put our trust and belief in in money, then we can't fully say that we trust and believe in God that He will provide. So um, this is just an opening for the discussion is uh, we can't cover this all in one topic but it's just a thought for us to have um which which i find it very really true because um, most of the time now me guilty as well is is when god bless me in my business in my finances right most of the time i become so um so distracted or, or that is the main thing that, that I, I i focus my energy my time even my emotions and everything on and even my prayers on bless my business, grow my finances, right? On, on that thing, which God has blessed me with and, and to maintain or even to grow even more, which, which becomes 
also, you see, I can't serve too, which ne- then I start neglecting my time and my personal relationship with God, right? So, so for me, it, this is uh, really very true. And also, uh, uh, I also see this uh, happen many times when, when, uh, when God bless a, a friend of mine or some who, who are also uh, Christians in business, we don't see, you will see that they were so busy managing their business we don't see them in church anymore so so i guess um, this is a very true uh, very applicable to me because i also went through it yeah yeah I, and 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 you you're right isn't it so it's it's also the part about not serving two masters now um for for those of us who are listening in and you're not a christian it's fine okay because we're actually teaching a principle here because this principle actually uh would come into play with anyone who has placed their trust in money because money is a form. Okay, so we're going to continue this uh, discussion. It's, it's really, really interesting. In our next episode, we want to deal with some questions into how do we now, if money is um, not the thing that we should put our trust in, how should we then deal with money? Okay, so we'll come back. We'll see you in the next episode. Make sure you tune in to find out more how we should deal with money, or at least from our perspective how money should be looked at and dealt with and how do we manage this. All right, so we'll see you next episode. Bye.